welcome to Pay It Forward and it is launch day for Masterclass and for April's project I've created a beautiful mixed media dog. Now I've styled my dog based on an Australian cattle dog. So I've called my boy True Blue. You can call yours whatever you like. I'm sure you're going to be super creative in how you put yours together. This is one of the best basic dog patterns that you'll find because he is such a great body shape. You'll be able to interpret him in so many different ways. I'm giving you extra ear options. So you can actually create this one in the likeness of a staffy. You could make him up in a very short mohair and make him as a Labrador puppy. I know a lot of, a lot of you have been asking for a basic dog pattern that you can play with and change up. This is the pattern and it is embellishment time this month. So get all of your favorite bits and pieces and add them to create a fantastic um, art dog. I think you're really going to love him. You're going to learn a couple of new techniques. We're going to be stitching, um, doing some applique stitching on a 3D project. So that's something to learn there. We're gonna do an overlip. We're sculpting the nose, of course. You don't have to, I've got options for you all. If you ever wanted to start off in Masterclass with a project where you can really put your own spin on it and just use a variety of fabrics and no scary mohair, then this is a month to join. I hope a lot of you do come over and join us. So let's have a closer look at my beautiful True Blue. So here we have my beautiful True Blue. That's what I've called mine. Um, I have made him up in a very Australian sort of theme. I have made him up in a wool blend fabric in two different colors. So this dog makes up beautifully in a very heavyweight fabric. So you can use all of your wools. You can use, he looked fabulous made up in a, a thicker style corduroy. Um, and of course you can see I've deconstructed a pair of jeans and I've taken all of the juicy bits. So I've taken those belt loops, little pockets, tags. Of course I've created a collar there and more pockets on the side even the inside sizing tags. And I've even added a zip around the tail there, an old metal zip. And it all just comes together beautifully. And then I've personalized it by making it with those Australian bits and pieces. We've got Levi's tags, we've got a little cuff there. I've added some bolt studs in his ear, a little Levi's tag there and some chains there with some Australian, old Australian coins. So the sky is the limit with this project, but what I do want to let you know is it is one of the best basic dog patterns you'll find because it can be tweaked so easily to represent quite a few different breeds. Now this would make up beautifully as a staffy. You can make this one up in solid colors. You could even make it up in a very short mohair and represent uh, a puppy Labrador. I'm giving you, in Masterclass, I also give you the fold over ears so you can change the breed up. We do a sculpted nose. You don't have to do a sculpted nose, um, but certainly you can see the effect there with that overlip is absolutely beautiful. We're doing some needle felting around the eyes. You can embellish your dog any way you like, and I'm going to be showing you the technique of a blanket applique on a 3D item. And it's a really valuable technique to know how to do because it means you can add on to your animal when it is done. So how much you play with this and how much you embellish this is totally up to your imagination. So not only could it be made up in this sort of style, you can imagine it made up, as I said, as a realistic dog, you can also um, you could make it up very girly using beautiful upholstery fabrics, Sanderson linens, big florals would be absolutely amazing. A graffiti style dog, a pop art, pop art style dog with the incredible bright colors. You can see I've brought the metallics in. He's just a real true blue all rounder. So I think you're going to love him. The nose, I do give you a stitch nose template. This is the original pattern. This is Dinkum. Um, and he was the basic uh, pattern for this one. Of course, he is a very simple version. He's been very much outdated, 
but you can see there you can still make him very simple and get a beautiful look still using the wools there the bandana of course I've got this bandana on my channel uh, right here on pay it forward and you can also add a bandana but this nose template I give you in masterclass for this one if you want to go ahead and just do that so as far as talking about fabrics go and we are giving away I'm giving away a beautiful fabric pack and kit to make up your very own true blue style dog I have a beautiful uh, huge piece of a gorgeous wool blend this is blacks grays it's got some tops and greens in there absolutely gorgeous would make up beautiful um, and also just because this is very selfish of me I won't get time to use this fabric but I found it and I have to give it away so that some of you one of you can make it up it is a gorgeous it's fairly open weave so make sure you use your interfacing on it but it is a beautiful wool in pastel brights on the cream and it's got a glitter fleck all the way through it so I don't know if you can really see it on camera there but trust me in real life it's absolutely gorgeous so you've got two lovely big pieces there I've got your joints for you of course for your neck rear legs and tail for this one and I'm also giving you this time I'm giving you two pairs of premium glass eyes in a 14 millimeter I'm giving you baby blue and the brown just to match those two fabrics just in case you want to make one of each but these are the best eyes you can buy so I'm going to have a question for you all in just a moment and I will send this pack out to you wherever you are in the world to help you get started on your very own mixed media dog so let's go and ask that question and see who the lucky winner is okay so who's going to win this fabulous pack now my question to you today uh, regards my grand puppies now I have beautiful grand puppies I have six adult children most of you know I have grandchildren but I also have grand puppies who I love just as much and my eldest daughter has a beautiful little blonde chihuahua and you may have seen her she's featured in some of my videos here on pay it forward I'm very very close to her I've spent many years with her before my daughter moved out with her um, so she's an absolute darling and my question is simply what is her name so if you can tell me my grand puppy chihuahua's name first person to do that in the comments below I'm going to send that kit out to you so I'm also going to put down below the link to join masterclass so if you've ever thought about joining masterclass but mohair frightened you this month is a fantastic month because you may well have all of the fabrics and things you need already in your stash so come and join us in masterclass I'll also put the link down below for our Facebook page come along and see what everybody is doing with my patterns and please share yours we want you to share your beauties with the world and bring more people in to pay it forward where they can enjoy and be creative and they get it all for free because I never want finances to stand in the way of people being creative and finding their most uh, happiest creative selves so let's bring more people in share those gorgeous creations that you're making in your all of your social media um, platforms that would be doing me a, a, a great favor so I'm very inspired by what I'm seeing I know that everybody on that Facebook page is being inspired by all of my masterclass students incredible incredible amazing work coming out of there very much looking forward to what's going to be done with this gorgeous dog so in the meantime everybody look forward to a new pattern coming up very soon right here on pay it forward for you all most of all everybody stay safe pay all of those good things forward until next time it is huru from me